Hello and welcome to my first video talking about how to efficiently import data into our studio. We want to import data in order to analyze it. It's always the first step in any kind of data analysis task, thus it's quite important. Um, there's different types of data which have to be imported differently. There's very easy types which are quite easy to import and there's some more complex types where we require some code. Um, what unites all the different formats is you always need some place at your computer where your data is stored and you have to tell our studio where this place is. Um, my place, it's uh, in this file, you can see it right here. That's where all the different data sets are, which I will um, load. It's called Dropbox Import Data. You can just click on it and copy it and then, um, you paste it in here, for instance. Um, I can paste it. You always paste it in exclamation marks and uh, parentheses. Let's do just the exclamation marks. Now I have my working directory which was down there. Make sure to use front slashes instead of back slashes. Um, then we put our command around it. It's called um, set wd parentheses also on the end. You hit it parentheses and then control enter. Then the code is executed and we can get started with our first um, data set. Now our studio knows where our data is stored. Okay, let's import an RDA file. Um, for instance, I want to import this T1 thing. Uh, we can either click on it right here, it might work, yes, but we can also just go on here with the three dots uh, to be sure that it works and then look for our file. For example, you might be in your documents, I'm in my uh, Dropbox as I said, and there it's in the import data file, you go OK. Oh yeah, and now we're in there and we can look for my data set and it's down here, T1. Just hit the yes button and you can see in the environment down on the left that it's in there. Make sure that you know where your environment is. You can set it in the manual R um, settings, how to do that. Uh, now it's called pre-t, it's important. We can also click on it, then it uh, shows up it's right here. Um, but we don't want to look at that. We can also work with it. For example, we can call the head, which uh, displays my first uh, six rows, head of uh, pre-t. Um, hit it, and then it works. Um, yeah, and then we see the first six rows of all 17 variables up here. And that was our first task, done. Next stop, we import Stata datasets. Stata is another uh, software which you can uh, do statistic analysis with it. Therefore, we also have some um, datasets stored in the DTA format, which we want to open in R if we want to work with R. Um, how do we open a DTA file? First, it also has to be in my working directory. That's very important. When it's in there, we just click on it. Where do I have a DTA file? For instance, I want to import this one, ACATH. Just hit it, wait for it, uh -huh. import data set. You see it works a little different. Now it loads, it's a preview window in which it loads the code. And uh, yeah, you already see our studio writes for us some code, um, how to import it, which we can copy later on. And we also have on the bottom left, uh, things which we can uh, specify and now it might show up At least I hope so. Now since it's loaded uh, we can look at it and see if we're happy with it and if we want to import it For instance, we want to know if uh, the, the type of data is correct So we need uh, numeric data um, Yeah, it looks good actually here. It's numeric it's all numeric, yeah, because it's numbers in there. Uh, for instance, it could be character or factor data, which we would need to convert. But in this case, we're good. Um, this is the code which our studio creates for us. Uh, we might just want to copy it and uh, yeah, import it. And then it's going to be imported right here. Uh, our studio also hits uh, um, the view function afterwards, which uh, displays the full data set in another window um yeah might be useful for somebody but we just ignore it um the next thing is um we might just um insert the code in here which uh, our studio has created for us uh, via um 
insert, all right? So um, this is basically how something is inserted. Now if you wanna work with the data set, we just have to call the ACATH um, name and then uh, display something, for example, some kind of variable of it. And there you see all the different variables, for example, cholesterol. Um, yeah, just hit it and then it displays all the different values from that uh, column. Yeah, and then uh, that's when data um, preparation starts and this is not the topic of the video. We just wanna move on with uh, the next data type. Now we have looked at RDA files, just open by clicking DDA, uh, as I just uh, shown you via an extra window. And now we look at the uh, different types of Excel files, um, which are opened quite similar to the DTA pattern. Um, for example, I have some data sets also in my working directory, for example, something about German corporate tax. Um, we also just need to click on it, import it, wait a second, and now the preview window opens again, and we wait to load it. You see there's also code uh, created. RStudio also loads a different package for that, read Excel, and uh, gives the command uh, read Excel as. Um, and here we can also specify things if we need that. Well, do we need to specify things? Um, we can just look at the data set right here. You see the names of the columns. They're um, three lines below the regular place should be up here. And the columns currently, they don't have formal names. They just have artificial names, X14. It should be this long German complex name. Um, how do we get that up there? Well, it's quite simple. You just um, change the skip from zero to three, so it skips the first three rows. Um, just let it go, and you see it inserts the code skip three. Um, it's all done automatically, I have done nothing. Just wait to refresh, and now it's in there. Great, are we good? In the uh, columns, you see there's numbers, but here we have character type. Character type is usually just used for names. For instance, here, different regions of Germany, Deutschland, um, which is indicated by the character type, it's correct. But here we would need uh, numbers, numeric type, here as well. We basically would need numeric type almost everywhere. We can select this manually in this preview window. Here we just uh, put numeric. And well, if we want, we can do, do that everywhere. But you see it's quite slow, especially if you have a slow computer. Um, it steals you time. For me, it's enough that I have converted that to numeric because it um, forced our studio also to change this entire code down here. And this one is placed numeric. If I can just copy the code right here, um, I might be happy just importing it and then change it via uh, writing later on. So we import the, the new data set called uh, XLS uh, Corporate Tax. Wait a second. Then it's going to be imported. Also here, he hits the view button. We can have the view function. It's great. Go back. Insert the code. And now we're good. Now, if we want to, we can change the type of the columns manually. For example, set a text. We want to have a numeric um, column here. We just put numeric. We can do that everywhere. I just do it in another case that you, that you guys can see it. Um, it's just the, the principle. I think it should be clear by now. We just um, let the function run again. It's going to be imported. And then we look at the view button afterwards. XLS, corporate tax. Now let's see what's happening. It's uh, still character, but it might change if I go back again. Yep, now it's numeric. We can do that everywhere. When I do it numeric, you can also see as an example, this text in here, which says a, a mil, um, thousand euros, it disappears because it's text, but it's not relevant for us anyway. We want to delete it. Um, we can also just have the entire first row deleted, but um, I guess this is topic of another course, which already looks at data preparation and not d data import. So um, as a resume, we have, um, imported RDA files, we've imported DTA files, we have imported Excel files, um, just by clicking. So you see it's quite efficient. You don't always have to execute code in R. When you have RStudio, in some cases, you also can just 
import the data via the functions in our studio. Thank you for watching my first video. In the second video, we go into some other complex type. It's CSV, where we actually will execute some code. Um, just make sure to click on the next video. Thank you.